Zodiacal constellations. What are zodiacal constellations? Where are they located? The Earth revolves around the Sun on its own orbital plane. The plane in which the Earth orbits the Sun is called the ecliptic. The ecliptic intersects at roughly the middle point of the celestial sphere. The circle of the ecliptic is divided into 12 equal parts. Zodiacal constellations are located in the belt of this intersection. The zodiac circle traditionally starts on the spring equinox. So, the sun moving in the Pisces constellation marks the beginning of the zodiac circle. During the year, the sun enters all 12 constellations. ending the zodiac circle in the Aquarius constellation. Now you know where the zodiacal constellations are and where they're located. Cassini, unlocking Saturn's secrets. Our solar neighborhood is an exciting place. One of the most fascinating and mysterious planets is Saturn, a cold gas giant with a radius about nine times that of the Earth. To explore Saturn, NASA, ESA, and ISA join to create an extraordinary mission called Cassini Pikens. Cassini is one of the largest, heaviest, and most complex interplanetary spacecraft ever built. The mission is managed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in the United States, where the orbiter was designed and assembled. The Huygens Titan probe was developed by the European Space Research and Technology Center. The complete Cassini-Huygens space probe was launched on October 15, 1997 by a Titan IVB Centaur. The flight to Saturn consisted of three parts and took 2,450 days in total. The first part was Cassini's flight to Venus for the first gravitational push. The gravity assist flyby is the use of the relative movement and gravity of a planet or other celestial body to change the path and speed of a spacecraft. In this case, Cassini used the gravity of Venus to acquire the necessary speed. Seven months after launch, the spacecraft passed Venus on April 26, 1998, at a range of 284 kilometers, gaining 26,280 kilometers per hour. The first flyby provided Cassini with enough momentum to travel all the way out to the asteroid belt. At the same time, Venus was moving at a natural pace to complete a yearly revolution around the Sun and met Cassini again for the second push. With the momentum provided by two flybys, Cassini was ready to fly past the Earth and Jupiter to Saturn, almost a billion miles away.
On August 18, 1999, the Cassini craft made a gravitational assist flyby of the Earth. It made the closest approach to the moon and took a series of calibration photos. With these three gravity assist boosts, Cassini-Huygens finally had enough orbital momentum to reach the outer solar system. One last gravity assist maneuver from Jupiter was made on December 30, 2000. During the Jupiter encounter, Cassini performed simultaneous observations of the planet with the Galileo orbiter. The craft took over 26,000 images and produced the most detailed global color portrait of Jupiter ever. Major findings of the flyby included observations of Jupiter's atmospheric circulation, a swirling dark oval of high atmospheric haze about the size of the Great Red Spot near Jupiter's North Pole and the nature of Jupiter's rings. The flyby took 500 days and gave Cassini-Huygens the final thrust of energy it needed to project itself all the way to Saturn. The final part of the journey took 1,278 days. On July 1, 2004, the Cassini spacecraft flew through the gap between the rings and finally achieved the orbit after a seven-year voyage. While cruising around Saturn in early October 2004, Cassini captured a series of images that have been composed in this large global natural color view of Saturn. Cassini released the Huygens probe on December 25, 2004. On January 14, 2005, it landed on the solid ground of Titan. The orbiter's primary mission ended on June 30, 2008. It is now on the Cassini Equinox mission, seeking to answer new questions raised in Cassini's first years at Saturn. This was again extended in February 2010, with the Cassini Solstice mission continuing until 2017.